Is that how a Muslim is supposed to act? Have any of you heard that before from someone that maybe at the workplace they had a bad altercation with someone that says that they're Muslim? Maybe at the convenience store that someone that kicks someone out and the person that owns the store is a Muslim? I'm not here to say whether the Muslim was right or wrong, but what was the way? How did they handle the situation to where that person remembers you in a bad light? Irregardless of your actual faith, the first pillar of Islam, it was actually the way that you treated them. It was actually your khuluq. It was your manners. That is what people will remember. It is important for us as human beings to be very cognizant and aware of how we deal with ourselves, with Allah and with people. Our khuluq, our manners. This can bring people into the faith. How many, people, how many times have we heard people say, I came into Islam because just the way that he or she treated me. I wanted to marry him because I saw it was his faith that allowed him, that pushed him to treat me in a certain way or to treat women in a certain way at the workplace. His or her modesty and the way that they controlled their temper, the way that they were generous and didn't want anything in return. Khuluk. Khuluk can be a direct manifestation of the Tawheed of that Muslim, of their monotheistic belief. As we know, khuluk can be something that is internal, that which Allah has given you. Each one of you has a characteristic that Allah has given you that may be better or worse than the latter. But our responsibility is to make those choices that help modify and beautify that khuluk. Because that can make it or break it for someone to become Muslim. It can make it or break it for someone to listen to you, fathers, mothers. It can make it or break it for someone to stay alive and not want to take their own life. The way that you interact with people. It's important that when you struggle to do an action of good and fighting the desire of doing an action of evil, when you have that desire, realize it has a rippling effect. So we're going to have this seminar or these lessons or videos entitled Manners of the Mindful. What are the manners of the people that are mindful of the creator of the heavens and the earth? Because when you are mindful of him, you're aware of his presence. And that is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ defined it as, Al-Ihsan. أَن تَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ كَأَنَّكَ تَرَاهُ فَإِن لَمْ تَكُنْ تَرَاهُ فَإِنُّهُ يَرَاكُ To worship Allah as though you see Him. And though you cannot see Him, know that He sees you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of those that are the muhsineen. May He make us of those that struggle to do the actions of good. That continue this battle within ourselves to be better people. To hope to see the better side of ourselves on a daily basis and to hope for that to be seen by others which will have an everlasting effect that is positive and the sky is the limit in changing the world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.